What is the difference between a $300 hyaluronic acid serum and a $20 one? For example, the one that I sell. Hi everyone, my name is Luisa. I am a cosmetic chemist on a mission to help you look and feel your best. I'm also the founder of Luisa True Skincare, where we use uh, the truth as the main ingredient. If you're new to this channel, welcome. It would mean a lot to me if you could just hit that subscribe uh, button and help me grow this movement. If you find value in my videos, if you learn something, the only thing I ask you in return is that you share them with a friend. So again, what is the difference between a cheap product and, uh, an ex and expensive ones? Before I answer this question, I need to take a step back so let's see together what makes uh, the cost, uh, what affects the cost of a product. So this could be summarized in mainly five or six uh, things. And these uh, are the formula, um, the ingredients, uh, and uh, um, the packaging, okay? So all the components of the product the labor cost, the manufacturing equipment, advertising and marketing, and then we have shipping and transportation, of course, uh, testing uh, retail uh, locations. So you might be tempted to think that uh, ingredients and the formula, the packaging, are the, the two components that affect the price the most. But um, this, is not, uh, this is simply not the case, they aren't. Luxury products contain the same exact ingredients as a cheaper uh, option and sometimes even at concentrations that is sometimes even the concentrations of these ingredients is not necessarily higher um, for example take the ordinary which is a brand that offers um, formulas with ingredients at high uh, percentages that are totally uh, affordable uh, furthermore uh, company big companies um, like la mer actually pay a lot less for the ingredients and the components because they buy everything uh, in bulk for example as i as a small business owner i simply cannot afford to buy ingredients and container in bulk not just because of the money but also because materially physically i don't have enough uh, uh, space to store 10,000 uh, bottles and uh, hundreds of pounds of ingredients and most likely even if i could these ingredients would go bad before i can actually use them however these big brands like la mer or l'oreal they buy everything in bulk so the actual cost for units to make the product is even lower than the cost that I have, okay? So as a consequence, uh, if, if the, the formula and the ingredients were the only thing that affected the, the price, uh, my, my pro their product should actually cost less than mine or um, less than any other small uh, business uh, brand. Furthermore, uh, some of these brands admittedly, they said that they have markups of even 1,000, 5,000% on their products. What about manufacturing? Manufacturing, um, advertising and marketing, yes. This cost can vary based on the company, but again, the variation is not uh, um, enough to justify such a huge uh, price uh, gap. In fact, even brands like L'Oreal use celebrities to endorse their products, but their products are still kind of affordable. And that is because of point number one that I touched before, meaning that they, you know, since they have a huge volume of sales they are able to keep their prices low because they uh, buy in bulk so the only actually there are two real difference between uh, cheap products and expensive one the first is brand positioning and the second one is the experience 
brand positioning is how a company want choose to uh, be perceived by uh, the public, by consumers. Certain companies uh, want to be perceived uh, as high-end uh, luxury uh, companies uh, and therefore uh, must have high price. This is where the marka mar huge markup comes from. We tend to associate a high price point with better quality. Therefore, if a product is super expensive, it must be good, right? Otherwise, what would it cost that much, am I right? No matter if we talk about uh, beauty, uh, makeup, fashion, or even uh, furniture, there's no luxury item that's also cheap by definition. It is a contradiction in terms. Truth to be told, when we purchase something um, super expensive, we rarely do it only because we believe it is uh, superior in quality, right? And uh, we do it because of the experience that it provides and we it provides which brings me to the second point uh, luxury products skincare products that are high-end usually offer a better uh, user experience the experience starts with the unboxing and uh, um, you know all the way till when you go to your friend and tell her uh, that you bought this expensive uh, serum so when it comes to formulation, high-end products usually have formulas that are more sophisticated and elegant. They have formula that feel much better on their skin. They are super lightweight, they just feel luxurious. But that does not mean that they are going to give you better benefits compared to um, cheaper uh, options. Um, also, sometimes not even the case, meaning that these formulas are so diluted that yes, they feel super nice, but uh, that's it, okay? Um, but in general, yes, I have to admit, and it's true, the textures are uh, very luxurious uh, and uh, they offer a 360 degrees sensory experience and that's where you take the pleasure out of the product. We only want to buy the best for ourselves. We want to send a message to our friend and other people that uh, we are wealthy and that we can afford certain products. And uh, we also want to enjoy this uh, cool stuff that we, that we bought. And this is why, um, you know, we might spend that amount of money for, um, for a luxury uh, product. So of, as usual, you don't have to believe the words that I say. I'm going to prove it to you. Um, I, I'm going to prove it to you right now what I just said. If we take a look at the ingredients list of this $300 hyaluronic acid serum, I'm not going to mention the brand, but if you are enough into skincare, I'm sure you recognize it, but, <laughs> but I'm just not going to say it. Um, so let's, uh, I have put all the ingredients uh, in the formulation chart uh, to calculate the cost. I have, uh, um, you know, based on my experience as a cosmetic chemist, uh, I can um, estimate uh, the percentage of, uh, uh, each, uh, of each of the uh, ingredients and input the price of the ingredients in this chart uh, and you'll see that uh, the price for uh, one ounce of product if we look only at the ingredients turns out to be 0 0.07 dollars <laughs> for one ounce which is uh, quite frankly ridiculous if we compare if we think that this product retails for 300 dollars yes there's the packaging yes there's the marketing but still remember there is a general rule there's no product that costs more than five dollars to make and this is how it is okay no matter what are the ingredients it just doesn't matter it's just how it works again luxurious products they don't have different ingredients they have the same ingredients as i have access to or other company have access to but do not get me wrong, okay? I have nothing against a uh, luxurious product. I do enjoy good, nice things, expensive things uh, as well. So uh, just, you know, 
my point is that uh, I have nothing against luxurious product again feel free to buy whatever you prefer as long as you can uh, afford it my point is that I want you to know that when you are paying $300 for a serum uh, you are not paying because this serum is gonna give you better results you are paying because of the uh, sensory again sensory experience um, this serum is gonna give you and you are also paying uh, because of how this uh, um, serum is gonna uh, make you feel it's gonna make you feel cool of course like my Mercedes Mercedes makes me feel super cool even though I am perfectly aware that I can go from point A to point B with a Toyota I have owned a boss and I have more pleasure it's more pleasurable for me to drive a Mercedes but again um, so I don't think that uh, um, a Mercedes uh, is actually uh, taking me from point A to point B more effectively more effectively I am aware that there's actually uh, no much difference okay I might be save a few seconds but that's it so the same with uh, skincare uh, products okay as long as you are aware what are you paying for uh, um, totally fine so once you're aware of all these things make your decision and be unapologetic about it this is it for this video i hope it was helpful uh, please share with a friend and i'll see you in the next one